for us, Rachel? Um, Megan and Lamaya, I am Silver, the Rogue Yogi, and I'm so excited to have the both of you who are women's women on this podcast. We have already bonded, I would say pretty intimately, yeah. for just me. <laughs> no, you're, you're such good energy. Uh, yeah. You guys have, I feel like, very synced energy, and I feel synced into it as well. And I really do believe it's something we share about purpose, and we just talked about it, actually. What does purpose mean to, to the both of you? Because it's foundational to me, and I know it's foundational to the both of you. Well, you just said it really well, so this is something that Megan always says, but that purpose is always connected to service to others. Yeah. <clears throat> I, think, I think what it is is, like, purpose is what it is God has created you for and has called you to, the thing that you can't um, rest or or feel comfortable unless yes. you're pursuing it. And, and I think that there is... Uh, personal purpose, but but as Lamaya just said, I think that overall, you said earlier, you said you know everybody has more than one purpose, yes. which is true. I believe and I, we believe, and um, that's interesting our, that you believe that oh, because exactly. many people it is like purpose singular period, sure. mm, and it's yeah. like we're so much more intricate and com- and complex than that. That's than right. To just have a purpose like a jar of mayonnaise. One thousand percent. That's why I think that. Oftentimes when we think we have one purpose that's just about us, that's why we never find peace Mm -hmm. and fullness because we are connected to each other and and our ultimate purpose is connected to each other human being. That's when we feel our best, that's when we know we're doing the right things, that's when we feel good in our spirit. You have like a fullness in your in yourself. Yeah. You know, you ever notice that the difference like a serenity or just that peace that you're looking for. Yes. Um there was another thing I was gonna say, um, that you just reminded me. Um, about being like, like kind of a, um, alignment. you just said something about the many purposes. Oh, like as we evolve and we go through things in each trial that comes into our life, doesn't it kind of resurface parts of new it purposes? Brings, exactly. We're, yep. we're, we're being rubbed off and, and shined up and, and we learn something. Mm-hmm. We go through something and we share it with others. Basically. That, that is the key That's is to help others with what you've yeah. learned. Okay, so if this okay, no, I I, I agree with you. Um, what you just said to me was so interesting and profound because what you said was, there's purpose, there's purpose that's connected to everyone else, mm-hmm. and then there's the reality that you may have a purpose, but as you graduate and you grow, your purpose might change yeah. and evolve and become something different in a different season. That's right. I'm like that's right. <laughs> I love yes. the season metaphor, and I believe in that so much. I believe yeah. in there's cycles for mm-hmm. everything. You, you know, the very essence, like not to get too like into the Tao, but um, you know, Lao Tzu says really that you know a- anything that's alive is flexible, and he compares. Mm-hmm. He compares life often to water, how softness can carve through mountains. Mm -hmm. And I believe that's something that the three of us share. We have an awareness of a responsibility almost to keep aware of both ourselves, which can be really difficult at times, but also to be of service to others. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Our heart, since we were little, you know, it's funny when you pay attention to these things. We've always had girlfriends. We've always had groups of of Mm -hmm. friends, of girls. We've always been able to um, connect, and we always, like, seem to find the other little girl at the whatever we're doing, and we're sharing, um, you know, they, they would tell us anything. And as we've gotten older... We notice that we're the type of women um, that when we run into other young women, it's like they want to tell us things yes. and share things, yes. and we're sharing things with them, and it's, there's this exchange. And so I think we realized very young that we really do have a connection and a calling to other women. Mm-hmm. And as we've gotten older, young women and all the things that we've been through um, you know, growing up as young women, and especially young women in the industry, and just mm-hmm. like you know, that really shaped us to – 
really share our experiences and we just have this calling like this thing it's this innate thing yeah. that it's like I can't walk past another young woman and either see her doing her thing and let her know she is killing it or feel the energy and say hey Same. you need somebody to talk to yeah. yeah just let you know like I see you I don't know what it is, but that's okay. I see you, and it's okay, and you're loved, and you're worthy, and if there's something I can do to honor you and to help your journey, I am more than happy to do that. And and unfortunately, as you were saying earlier, women don't always experience that from other women, which is, which is really crazy because I think there's this mentality of like, you know, there's a thing and we're all trying to get the thing and that whatever we have to do to get the thing, even if it is to do to each other to get the thing. And, you know, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, we're both big believers of like, no, there's your thing, there's your thing, there's your thing, there's my thing. My thing is my thing. You can't take it from me. Your thing is your thing. I cannot take it from you. So when you win and when you succeed, even if that wasn't the case, but in general, I want that for you. I see that for you. I want to cover you in that. I don't know what your journey's been or what's been done or what you've done, but all I know is that um, I want to see you happy. I want to see you walk in purpose and fullness, and and you don't always get that, yeah. you know? No, I actually, I actually told you guys this term earlier when we were talking, and I, I said girl-on-girl girl crime, yeah. and that's kind of a joke, but... I have experienced that, uh, like, I through high school, I told you guys that I felt extremely like a fish out of water, uh, or a little Rambo-like bandana, and was a major tomboy, and, and the other girls had ribbons, and I was just like, what is that, what is this place, <laughs> and I don't know how you guys came to that place but what what you're describing have you heard of the term uh, empath mm -hmm. people who are able to very easily connect into other people's energy yeah. and I want to know like on your paths because it is unique and this is why I'm so excited that you guys are here what about that innate internal thing that you cannot resist to do how did it pull you to women like for women with women i think like you said some of the things that we experienced growing up like we weren't always met with the same love and um genuine uh, affection for one another so we have experienced things with other women that it just doesn't make sense to us. And I don't know why we are the way that we are. I, I don't know. But it would sometimes, I, I really couldn't understand if a girl's being mean to me and I, and I or just like the energy is just real ugly or I'm like, why? I just want to say hi. Like, yeah. I you know, or I might just want to like give you a compliment or whatever. And it's all genuine. So I think experiencing a lot of just like that com competitive energy and that, you know, it's, it just didn't feel good. It didn't feel right. And I think it pushed us to further be like, how can I express it so much mm -hmm. that they can receive? Mm -hmm. And even if they're not giving it to us, and even if they're not giving it to you, I can still give it to you because it's just a part and it's a deposit who you are. of our purpose. Exactly. And and it's all, like she said, everywhere. We're all tied in. It's all intertwined. I know. I always think of a grove of aspen trees, how they're actually one organism because underground, their root system is completely connected. Wow. But on the surface, they appear like individual trees. I love, I love that metaphor. And... I just find it so unique. You guys have been so successful in what you've done. I mean, from showbiz to your foundation. You have really been like carving with your feminine energy. You have carved a path and opened doors. And you are, guy, you guys are kind of iconoclasts. Right? Hey. <laughs> That's well, so wait, beautiful. I like to say, and super freaking nice. Aww. Just like immediately. That's like the That's biggest. Com That's the biggest compliment. That's important. It's yes. I, I think we got the kind of the really the gift of learning. First of all, we have incredible parents. Um, 
but you know, uh, our, our mom primarily raised us and, uh, the way that she taught us to um, look at the the business that we grew up in, look at the neighborhood that we grew up in, because we grew up with a lot of racism, a lot of, okay. um, you know, people saying really crazy things to us. And then ultimately you go from that to going into the business, which was meant to be a hobby and a safe place to do something different. Oh, really? And then you experience the industry. And I think our gift is that, we have had some version of steady careers our entire lives. Rather, people thought we went away and did something else. People didn't know we were over here doing this kind of movie or doing this kind of music or whatever it is. But we've had kind of like a steady, slow climb our entire careers and whatever parts of those careers we've pursued. And and what it does is, I'll, I'll tell you a terrible version, a terrible <laughs> antidote. It's like you go to the club and nobody knows who you are and you're waiting to get let in and you wait for about an hour and you finally get in and you know, you get in, you have a good time, blah, blah, blah. And then you come back about six months later and you, you have a movie, you know, in the theaters, you have an album out and they're like, Oh, what's your name again? Yeah. And then they let you in with all your friends. And then you come back six months later and you don't have a movie out or an oh album out. Goodness. And they're like, well, yeah. I'm gonna let you and your friend in. And then you come back six <laughs> months later and then they're like, I'm gonna let you and five guys come in. I'm gonna give you a bottle. But then you come back a year later and they're like, you haven't been doing much. You can just wait another 30 minutes. You just explained your business as if it's currency. That's crazy. I have never, I've never heard that that you know side of things. And so you have to you have to you have to feel that like those differing um, how you're received depending on like what it is. You but that's just why you did. can't attach well, yes. to to your identity, your purpose, your calling to a thing to yes. what you do. You know, whatever we strive to do as a career, um, mm -hmm. yes, we may be gifted with different talents, right. but that is not who you are. It's not your identity. And it's what you get yes. to do. It's what you, it's it's what you do. It, no, it's what you get to do. That's right. And, okay. and then the identity part, it's, it's really important to remember that that isn't your identity so you don't take things too, so personal because it's very, very easy to because it feels like it's personal, but yeah. it's actually not. And yeah. so it, as you're able to navigate that, um, and then deciding that your currency, we both were very intentional about deciding that our currency is not what movie I'm in, what album I've done, if I'm, if I'm doing this or doing that or this now. My currency is that every time you meet me, every time you encounter me, you are going to experience love. Yeah. Even if you treated me badly, mm -hmm. I'm not going to do it back to you when I'm in a position to do it. I am going to be kind. I am going to be loving. And I'm always going to be consistent, no matter yeah. when I'm here, here, whatever it is. Because this thing goes up and down. But and, I don't. And people know yeah. this is the Good Sisters Three currency. Through. You like know? just that's what you radiate that's your that is an intention that you set yourself you mentioned giving that to other women even when they're not giving it back to you that is even i feel like a level higher than what we're talking about that is a that is something a really distinguished person with remarkable integrity is even aware enough to to know I am not my last movie. I am not my last song. I am something that is consistent and connected to service right. and fueled, if I may say, by God. A, a thousand percent. A thousand percent. It's God all day. He God all, all day. This. Yes, he I love all that. This, deposit God us, all day. Took special time to develop us from every single fiber yes. personality being of who we are. So yes, don't be afraid to say it. We a thousand percent. I will say, I, my, I used to say this all the time and I don't know if this will be bleeped or not, but I'd be like, actually, I'll just bleep myself. I love the bleep out of God. Yes. That's right. Same. Same. Done. Same. Just like, that's it. Just freaks. Yes. Love the Lord. I'm like, I don't Respect know what's next, but tell me. belief system, however they believe, but... You said something so important. Uh. I don't know what's next, but tell me. Yeah. And you believe in that, you and, and that's so important, too, on this purpose journey that we're talking about. Trust. Uh, yeah. Trust. Trust is scary, may I say. We talked about this before. To me, the art of living life as someone anchored 
in God and not knowing what's next. To me, I I will be very honest, it can feel scary. Absolutely. Nothing is certain. Emotions are so complex. Yeah. I mean, I can I, I have a metaphor of I thought um I thought when when um I had my own divorce and then I I, I, I thought maybe when I fall in love again all of the hurt will mm. move away. It'll just fly right. out and be replaced by this other emotion. And emotions do not work like that. Mm-mm. We as humans mm-hmm. are like a jar that can hold like a hundred marbles of emotions that co- that conflict. Yes. Do you guys know what I'm saying? And that is hard to navigate. It is, but I, I think that we don't always have to navigate it. I think sometimes we just have mm-hmm. to surrender to it yeah. and surrender yeah. to the reality that many things can be true at the same time yeah. and surrender to the fact that God has us and loves us and adores us and knows us better than we can even begin to underse- understand Absolutely. ourselves. And, and, and more importantly, God has the best for us. God wants the yeah. best for us. That's the plan. Do you know my favorite saying, or one of my favorite sayings is, nothing happens to us. It happens for oh, us. Amen. And that includes... Good and bad. Mm-hmm, yeah. yeah that are and we hate... <laughs> and we and hate, that's not fun. But you know, yeah. that's the funny thing about... Pur- it's always connected to purpose, though. Yes. That's why we go yes. through things. It, cre- it creates you, like, you're more aligned to your purpose that's when right. you yeah. grow through something. Yep. That- I, li- literally, when I went through my divorce, because I had been praying for years, I'm like, Lord, let me know you better. Let me get to know you. Like, I want to know you in a deeper way, a deeper level, blah, 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 blah. And, um, and I remember, like, going through a few different things, but but one of them was the divorce. And, and as I was going through the divorce, I did come to know God in a different way. And there was a season for about four months where I'd be praying. I'd be like, Lord, can you do this? But please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me, Lord. Like, I mean, please don't put me through nothing. Like, cause I was scared because the process, um, seemed so yeah. But then, but then when you get on the other side of it, you realize how much stronger you are and how much you have been through the fire and how much you have, um, become something that now um, goes back to the original purpose, which is everything that you've been through and everything that you've experienced that felt, that felt shitty is yeah. something that you can now give to someone but else to let them know that they're going to survive, they're going to make it, they're going to be okay, they are lovable, they are worth all those things, yeah. you know? Absolutely. There's actually a Native American myth where a spirit would hover over the dying warriors and the spirit would reflect the same exact wounds as the dying warrior so that as they were passing, they were with a presence that was essentially reflecting themselves, being like, you're not alone. I've experienced this too. And that is something I honestly admire both of you for. You've been super authentic on the mic. You You have. And, And I mean intentionally so not just to stir the pot um i remember there was a time when people talked to you megan about being a christian but you also wore a plunging neckline why does that have to be two different things (laughs) yeah yeah like yes i love this dress i look completely rad and i love god right can we do that right why is that such a big deal? I'm gonna let her grab it, but I have to say this. I'll I'll say that um, some people get so religious that they skip the relationship relationship mm. part with God. Mm. They skip the part that you actually have to know God, hear from God, listen to God, yeah. sit in God's presence, and they just yeah. do the book thing that goes, oh, well, here's what the religion says, yeah, and true. then they go, literally, this is what it says. And I'm like, well, if you're saying it literally, then I can understand why someone's like, well, I don't want to know that God because that God did this and that. It's not about literally. Mm-hmm. It's about having a spiritual understanding of what God is trying to share with you and also understanding that that thing sometimes changes in different seasons. Not God doesn't change. Mm-hmm. We're changing because we're growing. Right. But I'm sorry uh, the, you to that. add to that the judgment <laughs> well um the judgment with that it's like who are you to judge that God's not asking us to do any of that He's asking us 
do read it, interpret it, do your thing, but he's not asking you to judge us. And why does, and everybody's not equipped to handle different, and we were talking about this earlier, different opinions right. of yep. people, different values of people or different with their, their, per, their perception of that. So at the end of the well, day, it's like, sticky they're like, well, it's not my opinion. That's what the word of the God says. It, right, right. It's I'm like, like but, it, to but did God Almighty come down here and tell you <laughs> exactly. that this plunge line like, don't I'm work sorry, for you? Because that's what I'm I need to know. One on one. Let's, let, let's let God be yeah. God, <laughs> one. And two, if you if you do feel that God is calling you to uh, correct uh, another kingdom sibling, maybe let God give you wisdom and how to approach it because attacking someone mm -hmm. and brutalizing them in, in any type of way is not going to accomplish what you want to accomplish, which means that you don't fully have a heart for what you want to accomplish. You're so focused on correcting and projecting and doing what you need to do to make yourself feel good about yourself that you're missing the fact that do you really want your brother or sister to get this thing that you believe that God wants them to get? And if you've missed all of that in between, you're already in the wrong place. You're, you're actually creating more separation. Oh, yeah. And I feel like the three of us are very much about connection and union and inclusivity and acceptance and i can be me and do me and you guys can be you and do you and yeah maybe i appear contradictory in a bunch of ways but that's because we all are you may just not be aware of yourself yours yeah. right and how about if you feel strongly about it, how about you do the one thing that God has actually called us to do, which he's given us authority to do and actually literally asked us to do to everybody, is love them. Mm -hmm. And then if you love them and you bring them in, then if God wants to do something different, guess what? God will do it. Do you don't have God to will get it done. <laughs> God will yeah. get it done. Yeah. I always say, like, God will pull an elephant out of my ass. And if he won't he does. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, no, I'm really like, exactly. that has happened so many times. And so that's why I'm kind of like, I am an antenna. Like, I'm waiting. What's next? And here we are. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. And, like, we had so much fun even before we started yeah. filming. <laughs> yeah. And and I have felt like this has been a cliff dive. I, I was just like, okay, God. And that's, I feel like my purpose is to say, okay, God. Yes, God. And then have the courage and pray for the wisdom to do it. And let go of the outcome. Very hard to do. Yeah. Very hard to do. There's not a whole lot of women like us who are about the herd. Mm -hmm. There are strong women like you both who speak your mind intentionally and courteously. And then there are these days a lot of people who want to just immediately say why you're wrong. Mm -hmm. As if every person is the same. I think, I think the thing that I believe one of the things that we should work on is giving each other a lot more grace. grace. Like, and, and even, and even the bully, because yeah, especially, the especially the bully, because, yeah. because some of these people are the way that they are. I would dare to say most of, if not all are the way that they are because of their own trauma, their own abuse, their own self hate, their own searching and trying to figure out and projecting and all these things. And I think the moment that we stop taking uh, their thing personal, which which doesn't mean we take theirs yet. Right. It just means that we right. don't take it personal and we begin to have grace for them and we're able to forgive them while creating boundaries of what will and will yes, not be. Yes. Um, I'm so happy you mentioned forgiveness yeah. because uh, to me, I mean, in my spiritual journey, that has been the hardest mm -hmm. journey uh, emotionally. Yeah. And I think our purposes are tied to emotion. Like you said, like you guys both feel like, and I do too, my job is to be a conduit of love. Irregardless of like what I'm receiving, I'm going to stay a stable transmitter of love. Integrity. Yes. For who you want to be, not because of what somebody else does. They can't change the quality no, of the human being no. that you're choosing to be. I used to be much different though. I used to conform like, you know, a double jointed pretzel <laughs> to whomever would give me a minute. But now I do feel like you found I it. have found my core. You found it. And you guys have clearly found your core. And it's actually really beautiful. 
And I just want you guys to know, even as sisters, like, you're, and I'm an only child, you guys, uh, like, you have the best energy. Thank you. And you are superstars, yet you know that your purpose actually is so much mm -hmm. more depth and character than your last gig. That's what matters. Yep. That's why I said we get to do this. Get to, yeah. If we get to do this. We get to be creative. We get to put something in the world in that way. But that's not what God's going to ask us about when we get to him. He's going to ask us about did we keep our integrity? Were we kind? Did we open our minds to other people, even people who were mean and nasty to us? What did we do? Who did we show up for? How did we love? How did we pour in? That's what matters. And, and, that, and I think we can say, me and this one and our younger sister, she's somewhere in here, but... <laughs> Our legacy, we want our legacy to be love. Yeah. I love the word legacy mm. because it speaks of intention. And you guys live intentional, loving lives. And I just want to celebrate you guys for that. Thank you. You're two women, sisters, united in this way. I, I can't think of anyone else like that. And I really feel honored to have gotten to meet you. Yeah. Really? No, like, we are on, on the same dial. Like, we, like, and I just want to celebrate you guys. And I want you guys to feel celebrated and appreciated and know that somebody's going to hear this. I know what you're about to do. What? Same thing I'm about to do. Go ahead. Which is we want to celebrate you, too. Yes. Okay. Because the way that you show up is so transparent, and authentic. so authentic, so unapologetically, like, quirky and beautiful and like this is all the this is all the things I want to give and you're just it's really really beautiful it's very very kind it's very uh affirming that that I mean come on well I can't how am I gonna answer that <laughs> <laughs> no you are beautiful and I commend you seriously for having the heart for women and sharing this and I don't take it for granted I have so much gratitude for your recognition of the bond and the sisterhood and looking beyond all the things, yeah. I have so much gratitude Thank for so for the Congrats. platform that you've created and that you, what you've seen and done here. And, yeah. yeah, and just loving on us and covering us, yeah. and also protecting your child like wonder. That's so hard to do as you get older because the world kind of like beats it out of you and takes that of you. Einstein you, said, "You have, have holy yours. curiosity." Yeah. yeah, and I feel that way. Yeah. Like, I want to dig into people. Yeah. And be like, who are you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What I are you? Yeah. yeah. But you can also tell, like, you're an intellectual. So it's not because you just have a youthful spirit. It's yeah. like, yeah. I know she's I a motherfucker, yeah. but she's yeah. protected oh, thank that. You. So you're welcome. You guys are, are the same way. I'm like, two high priestesses who happen to be <laughs> sisters. No big deal. <laughs> Thanks for being on my show here. <laughs> I love her. So you are the best. Seriously, this yeah. was so much fun, it's, and we it really has been so much fun. We and you really even thank you. Trust me. That's so right, girl. I got you in there. I, I think we are officially friends. We are. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I mean, my, my drop there. <laughs> Two new friends for me. Thank you. Yeah. See a whole studio audience of class. Yeah. <laughs> Nicest, beautiful. nicest room of people. So yeah. good. And we've known this one. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I mean, I really? Isis on my first album. Well, you said it airs the. Wait, do you know that Isis is the mother goddess of Egypt? Yes. Our, oh, yeah, we had an R and B group. I know, so I we, know. Yeah, I, but we kind of fixed stand it up. for that. No, it's intelligent, sexy young soul sisters. Right. So that basically was curated by the record company. So and we, us trying to fit. <laughs> yes. Oh and, remember, oh, acronyms oh, were big then. They started there. They just couldn't spell it exactly the same way, so they figured out. Yeah. Wait, you weren't allowed to spell it like no. the goddess? No. I'm sorry, y'all. I have to pee so much. Oh, I would. Oh, oh go. Wait, do we need a button or? Need a button or anything? Button. A button for what? Oh, yeah. okay. you guys are both amazing. You guys are the best examples, like a joint radiation of amazing, upliftingness. And I'm, I really feel graced that we got to hang out like this. And I, I, like I said earlier, I'm like, I really hope other women see this and they maybe soften up a bit. Thank you guys so much. Thank you very much. So, oh, yes. Oh, 
Huggy, thank yeah, you so thank much. You, so much. This you guys so are lovely. Uh, it so really was. Easy and lovable. Same. And thank you. I'm sure your friends are too. So you got like you know an exponential. <laughs> thank <laughs> you. She is so funny though. Double, <laughs> that double sound good. bites, not the pretzel. <laughs> 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 Run away. Yeah, she said, <laughs> she 